welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another exhaust sound check with us because you know that's what we like to do but hey there's a lot of questions in exhaust and we got that new carbon series exhaust by rls and we're going to pin it up against the stealth series exhaust that's right there on my chiquita banana riker 600 hey it's not an exhaust comparison video if you're not comparing it to other exhausts that's the new carbon series there that's the stealth that we're taking off my riker in this video and that's the lineup we've been working with you've seen them in other videos if you haven't definitely check those out but we do throw in the weigh-in on this video like you may have seen before but hey we got a new contender that carbon series so we're gonna find out what it sounds like we're just gonna throw it on real quick and the main comparison i would say in this video of course there's gonna be more in the future is pinning it against the stealth series on kevin's 900 throw mouse moto like i said this one we're gonna whip it on we're gonna get a, a little bit of footage um you've seen it in the past few videos that i've been doing that stealth series that's on it right now on my 600 do a little ride around so you can get that this is the whole idea of these comparison videos it's just so you can hear the sound you can let us know what you think about each exhaust it's just you know a lot of times you're not able to hear them this is a new one the carbon series by rls doing ricky's doing something different with it so we wanted to share it with you this is our first time hearing it it's our first time installing it um, we've heard it, you know, on video on uh, the RLS YouTube site, and I believe on Instagram, uh, and you can catch those there if you want to hear it in a different way. Look at this cat right here. I left this in there. This is stuff you have to deal with, and I saw them, and I was just gonna switch lanes and get behind them, but they want to just, you know, stop in traffic. If you caught that, you know what I'm talking about. If you're a motorcycle rider already, or Can-Am Riker rider then you, you probably just notice that just by being as defensive as a driver you have to be when you're riding these things. But I wanted to add that in there. But you can check out uh, any of the RLS exhaust uh, little sound checks that Ricky does with them on the YouTube site. But you know, throw my guy to jump in there too. And you know, exhaust you know, hit a little bit different on our videos. So let's get you them sounds. There's not gonna be too much talking because I wanna just let it be on full volume so you can get everything. And then, you know, just follow the, the subtitles at the bottom so you can keep track of what's what and what you're listening to. Thanks for watching.
That's just me driving around so you can hear the Stealth Series exhaust on it for a little bit. That's the one we're coming off of to switch to that Carbon Series exhaust. And you can probably guess why it's called a Carbon Series. That is clean. That's a, it's a common theme you see in Rikers so or on Rikers that a lot of people do. So this would look pretty cool on something like that. I mean, I like it, period. Any type of carbon fiber looking accents. And that's the Stealth. Yes, I know. But if you follow the channel, you know I don't clean anything. <laughs> Riker's been clean once. We're better about riding them everywhere than cleaning them. And that was a question I'm trying to answer for some people out there. They were asking if we had the baffle in our stealth. And yes, we do. That was a picture of it there. But hey, you got to do the lineup. There's that bad boy. You know how big and heavy that thing weighs. And then we have the Predator. That's the one that I uh, started with first by RLS. That was my introduction. That's how we met Ricky. Of course, there's a whole video on that. And then that's that new new one right there, that new contender. It just looks too clean, man. I'm, I might actually start cleaning my racker just so this thing can keep looking like this. And it's got that Cerakote uh, on there. Uh, you can do the Predator, the one above that and that. But, you know, I was trying to get that polished look. And I still think it's cool. This one here, that's the Stealth. It is super dirty. It needs to be clean. We had some weird rain. We've been driving a lot. My bad. But just to show you, you know, I don't know the actual dimensions and all that stuff. We're not trying to be too Mr. Rogers on our videos. But, uh, you know, I could take a picture of them all lined up and you can kind of figure it out on your own. Which one's longer, how it does. You can see the how, how much bigger the, the Stealth is there in that middle part. Um, and a lot of a lot of questions on this been popping up and uh, it's just people are getting from, no matter if it's from RLS or whatever uh, exhaust uh, groups are out there you know some of them might have a baffle and there's just a lot of questions on how, how you install them they think you're supposed to put them on the tips or whatever maybe you can do that I don't know but this is how we're doing ours and it comes uh, they usually come with the, the screw I think backwards or the bolt in, in the opposite direction or something and that's what Kevin's doing to take it out now so our carbon series from RLS came with the baffle and that's what we're putting in there now. It's, I know it's like tapered down, flared up on the opposite side. So uh, I don't think, or I uh, know actually this one wasn't. So I think that if you don't put the screw in, you know, you, you probably could or tighten it down, it could drop in there. The baffle we had in the Predator was tapered and then uh, flared out at the end. So. I don't even think we had a bolt in it when we put that one in. We just jammed it in and it just, you know, it just stayed off friction. But this one, we definitely have to use the little bolt and he got in there. And I forgot, I think that was 10 millimeter. But like I said, we're not really install how-to videos. It just says, even when we show the portion here where we install it, that's just showing you the baffle if, you, if you're not familiar and, and have that question about how to install it yet. Uh, and it's just going to kind of, quiet it down a little bit but I say quiet a lot in the video and I don't mean quiet there's nothing quiet about any of these exhausts except for the one that I'm holding or Kevin's holding up right there now there's that big boy stock exhaust so let's we'll see what we're weighing in at this is our this is our uh control here this is where we're coming from no matter what we do we're coming from that right there you're seeing it with your eyes whatever you think that number is that's what it is these aren't we're not trying to give facts here or anything. We're just showing you what we're doing. You can come up with stuff on your own. That's the Predator. This one has always been, no matter what we've done, it's always been the lighter one with what we've had our hands in so far. That's why you're getting that number. You can see the black needle there is what the stock was showing. So that's how much you're taking off. That's good, good. We like that. And that's all. That's the original reason why I did the upgrade to begin with on my exhaust. It wasn't because to be more loud or whatever it is. It was just to get that weight. It's a lot easier to lose that 20 pounds on the bike than it is myself. And that's uh, the stealth. So you're coming in a little bit heavier. We knew that was coming. We weighed it before. But hey, look at that black needle. It's nowhere near that. And then we got the new one. The carbon series exhaust, which we're going to whip on after we weigh it and get that installed. So what are we coming in at? So that's a little bit more, like barely any, over the Predator and then under the Stealth. And of course, way under that big metal bladder of an exhaust that hangs under. And we're stoked. That's cool. We, didn't know what, we don't know anything about it other than what we hear in videos. 
but you know how that goes. And that's why in these videos, we, oh, spring puller on all autoless exhaust. That's a lot of questions. I, I hear a lot of exhausts going around not having uh, spring pullers uh, or not coming with them or not knowing what they were. Um, that, that the thing's going to help you. That's what Kevin uses, and he's been pretty good at it so far about switching out exhaust, so he's good. So like I said, it's not a how-to. Just like to show you kind of what we did to do it. And I'm going to use this opportunity to give a shout-out to uh, Riker Lady on Instagram. I'm going to put that down at the bottom. She, uh, I just saw a post, and she, she's selling her uh, Assassin series. We haven't covered that in here, uh, but I'll post a little bit of picture of it if you want to know more about it. But she's in Florida. I told her I'd give her a shout-out to the, the Florida viewers. I know I got them. If you guys are interested in jumping into the RLS world, and uh, you know, don't uh, want to do the, the wait time or anything like that um, going through the website, uh, which is actually no big deal. But some people just want to grab something on the cheap and something local and she's somewhere near you. Uh, hit her up on Instagram, send her a message or just reply to one of her uh, her posts on there. And that's a uh, Riker Lady and it's an assassin series. We haven't had it on here, but I can tell you it's loud. So be ready for that. Um, wanted to do that. It's a long time viewer. She's cool. She's cool. And then you got the spring there. So that's the spring puller. It comes into play. He made that first one look way easy. The second one was not. And watch how he makes it disappear here. And it's gone. <laughs> and he's done it before. The spring shoots into like the engine compartment. And he has to get one of those like mag magnets on a stick. And, uh, and fish it out from there. This is happening. You know, when you do like three exhaust changes a day. Or when Kevin does, I'm not really that involved when I'm doing camera. Uh, you know, stuff's gonna happen like that. So uh, I wanted to show this too. Uh, that wasn't the move. Um, he went the opposite way on it, uh, and to get more leverage, you can see there. And you're like Barry. What? No one knows what that means. I, I came here. This is the worst install video. Well, it's not an it's not an install video, homie. Um, you gotta check. You gotta check out one of the other cooler. Uh, YouTube channels that that walk you through stuff that I watch, <laughs> but uh, these are these are just uh, entertainment purposes only. Uh, we're not the safest, uh, and we're definitely not that instructional or qualified mechanics, or have any affili affiliation with Can Am or BRP at all. This is just for fun, just to show you that bad boy right there. But it looks cool. I'm really stoked at this point to get on it. Uh, I always knew it looked cool. You can tell in the pictures and some stuff I've seen it on, but let's see what it sounds like. Not loud. I bet it's somewhere between mine and the Predator.
point cam dog. So did it scare you? <laughs> I was thinking it was going to be between the two. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Oh, I know. Or I should say less loud, not quiet. Nothing quiet about aftermarket, third party, or really any other than stock uh, exhaust for these Rikers. Carbon Fiber Series by RLS on here, and he has the Stealth Series. Let's get it. Let's get it.
if we heard them thinking they were the same, right? They were just as loud as each other. To me, that would still mean if we put this one on there, yours would be quieter. Yeah. It'd be even quieter than what we're hearing right now yeah. on the 600. No, man, mine. What do you think? I think so too. I was expecting to hear like a lot of it get knocked out when yours went off, but I think they're the same. Which means yours would be even less loud with the carbon. I think they're the same, except for you just hear that pattern. Yeah. It does it now. Huh? It does it now. It does what? The verbal? Yeah.
Oh man. I was doing, just so you know, between 4,000 and 4,500 RPM the whole thing. I would want that verbal way. This sounds louder to me. Lighter. It's half the weight of the stealth. It looks cooler. It definitely looks good. It, it has a tighter sound. It definitely has a tighter sound. To me, that's a less loud Predator. This is something else. I don't know. Maybe we just listened to too many exhausts. <laughs> I don't know. But it's not about my opinion anyways. I'm just making the videos. Like Kev Dog, aka Kevin the Menace, aka Excelsior. If you ever see him chime in on some of the comments, that that's Kevin Excelsior. Like he says, we're just making the videos, man. We're trying to show you guys this stuff. It doesn't matter either way as far as what you do with the info, but there's some people out there looking for it. If you're not, that's cool. Uh, there's other videos. We're going to drop some other stuff. As always, more Can-Am Riker content coming. Uh, but, man, we're a fool for exhaust. Uh, we try to get our hands on whatever we can. Try to meet up with whoever and let you guys hear it. So if you're interested in that, we have a series going on. Uh, this might be like the fourth video of it. So it's like a whole playlist you can find on the channel. Looking for that. If you want to hear any of the final thoughts, any extras, Go really hardcore with some more questioning. Uh, the Patreon site is the way to do that. Uh, I put the the link and um, I'll probably pin it on a comment, but it'll also be in the description of the video. Uh, I'm just giving out exclusives. I have like whole exclusive videos that are like these that I'm putting on the Patreon site for those members of the Thrill Mouse Clubhouse. So if you want up on that and probably like the only existing Thrill Mouse merch to be going around is also on there. I appreciate you just giving that a chance and checking it out. Other than that, thanks for the watch. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to Thrill Mouse Moto. I was paid to say this since Barry said he felt kind of weird asking. He also wanted me to say Baja Blast Slams and yeah dog, Thrill Mouse Moto.